Hey guys, so Hello. we're waiting for Cena. We kind of parked like douches to try to save our parking spot. Yeah, we're parking to parking spaces. Yeah. And we don't want anyone to see, so we're, we rolled our, our seats all the way back. So forgive the shitty angle. <laughs> but um, we're here, we're waiting to go to the Pokemon Symphonic Evolution. How are your legs, by the way, from Comic-Con? A little sore, but I'm oh, okay. Oh, tell me about your foot. I twisted my ankle when we were trying to look for my car keys or hope to find my car keys. I, I was kind of texting my brother and trying to figure out what we were going to do. And I wasn't paying attention and Simon saw me. <laughs> I almost fell, but I didn't. Luckily, all that really happened was I twisted my ankle. And I kind of have a little bruise. I show it to you guys, but I don't want to gross anybody out. We <laughs> were very close of staying the night in San Diego and possibly doing more stuff <laughs> at Comic-Con. The stuff that we didn't get to do. Uh, but we didn't. I want to try to get a pass next year. That'd be fun. Oh, well, I don't know now because Mockingjay's not going to be there next year. <laughs> All I wanted was a pin. I know, me too. And that was inside. We had to pay. A big want want too is that there were some events outside that were for badges only. That sucks. Because everything the year last year was like you didn't need a badge to even be in line or go into uh, like anything. The Game of Thrones. And yeah, yeah, yeah. The Game of Well, the Game of Thrones was the one that we were bummed out the most about. Is but, that Walking Dead thing for passes only too? No, no, no. That's like 40 bucks. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, it's free. It's not free. It's 40 bucks. So even if you had a pass, that's kind of like... Mm. Yeah. I'm sad. Because I didn't get a pin. Oh, wait. Let me show them. Where's the hotel pin? I mean, hotel right there. keys. So it says... What? That's our room key. Because we checked in. <laughs> Also, we reunited with our friend from the Born This Way Ball. She was so nice. She kept the names uh, and the numbers of the people who were in line. It was her and some other guy. She was really nice. And it was such a trip that we were in the line for American Horror Story. And she was right behind us. And I started just talking to her. And I was like, this is weird. It's like kind of we connected once before. And she was like, wait, were you in the Born This Way Ball at all? And she I knew your name too. And she's like, oh my god, you're Dimitri. And I was like, holy crap, she knows my name. It's a witch. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I didn't think that. But I really, it was really amazing. And I'm so happy we got to reconnect. It really felt destined and I don't know. It felt really, really nice. It felt really good to talk to her. She was really nice. I like her. And the guy, too. Yeah. I, yeah, they were both really nice. Mm -hmm. It was. We had such a, a really fun time. Uh, it was so cool. I hope we get to hang out again with them. They were really, really cool. Did she say she met Gaga, too? Yeah, I remember. She's a key holder from <gasps> That's the right. Ball. She's a key holder. key holder. So she has a really cool necklace that Gaga gave out. Oh, so lucky. Oh my god, she's so lucky. Well, we're lucky too. I know, but I would love to have gotten the necklace. Oh, it was beautiful. Oh. Uh, no, I'm not jaded. I'm not jaded. I'm not being ungrateful like some other people that meet Gaga and all they want is more. I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy for the two or three minutes that we met her. And I'm just, it's so cool. Hopefully she brings it one day. I would love to see it. Mm, yes. They don't get to keep the big key, huh? No, no, no. They signed that key. And Gaga kept that key. Yeah. Well, we've been talking for, like, what? <laughs> Ten minutes. So, we'll let you guys go. And... We'll see you inside. Yeah, hopefully they let us film so we could put some clips. Bye. I didn't even know you So, we caught it. up with Cena And look at her keepless. She's so cute. And look at her little Pokeball and everything. And then Simon. Hello. With his flurry on. And then up there is Cosette and her friend. Cosette has a little Piplup peeplet. And her friend has a Pichu onesie. They look very cute. <laughs> and we're ready for the symphony. Angela. Cosette. Show the back of your little peeplet. It's so cute. <laughs> We made it. That was a long walk. Uh, my pants are sweaty. Oh, I'm so sweaty. We're here at the Greek Theater. I've never been here before. It's so pretty. I'm excited. <gasps>
know which one that is. <laughs> Damn, I'm glad we got upgraded, 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 upgraded. I know, section B. Hey, That's what's good. up? Eating some food. We're in a new, brand new In-N-Out. Brand new In-N-Out. It's so beautiful here in the beautiful valley on Laurel Canyon. It's very beautiful. <laughs> so we're sitting for our food. And honestly, we, we were driving here and it was empty. And now it's packed. Like, what is this place? And see, they're going to give you a little visual tour. Our night's over. We're tired. We're yeah. in a meat coma because he accidentally ordered a 4x4. Four I, four. I asked for a 3x3 three three and the lady was like, okay, one, 4x4. Four four. Like, okay. So he's in a meat coma and I'm in a meat trance. I'm not complaining about that. But that was fun. And it was so nice and I keep thinking about all the music and the graphics and how far Pokemon has come. The symphony was really nice. I love the whole dub step. No, well, not really dub step, but they're just like uh, dance just like music. The, yeah, I like the dance in stuff that they added to the music. And a whole bunch of bass. It was very surprising and beautiful. On the end, we all sang along. Oh yeah, at the end they played the original Pokemon theme song. So, good night you guys. Good night. It was lots of fun. Don't forget. To spread the love. Oh, the love.